something with this logo. My, 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 girl, your girl is that girl. Your girl is that girl. I can't remember what she said directly, but she basically was saying, be grateful how you look right now. You know? And you, as you should, you should be grateful how you look right now. Because we're not going to look like this forever. Yeah. guys welcome back to another video i'm only doing an actual sit down video that is concentrated on my hair i pressed my hair not too long ago as you guys know and it's been it will be two weeks tomorrow this is what we're looking like right now this tutorial is going to be a flexi rod set on old blown out slash pressed natural hair we're going to be doing a flexi rod tutorial for you guys using this set right here. This set has 36 pieces. I believe you can get it at the BD Supply Store. I'm also going to be using this Cantu uh, Wave Whip Curling Mousse for natural curls, curls, or waves. It defines waves and curls without the crunch and it's, weight, it's weightless moisture and conditioning. I'm going to be using um, this Batiste instant hair refresher that's where we're at and then i'm going to be using this detangling brush but yeah y'all let's get into this tutorial all right we're going through with the batiste spray and this is my first time using it so definitely going to be very interesting We're just gonna massage this in. Oh, it's still very much white here in the middle. <laughs> I'm not gonna spray anymore. I feel like I look like Cruella with that white streak in my head. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna go through and brush the hair now kind of get it detangled and to disperse all the residue like up to like four four ten on my hair to get it at least this straight and then I also use the color wow to straighten it so and i've heard some things about color wow where some people is some people are saying that it made their hair straight but i don't get that effect i've used color wow three times now so but i also don't use it often which might also be why it's not affecting me hair is all brushed out and ready to go for us to start the flexi rod set I'm gonna section off this part in the back first. The lines don't have to be straight. Okay, so we're a little bit more zoomed in here. I'm gonna go in with the Cantu Shea Butter. We're just gonna use about that much. Maybe, maybe not even that much, maybe like half. Yeah, because you want it to be light. We don't need a lot since the hair is already straight. I'm gonna go ahead and take our rod I'm going to start from the bottom and roll toward me. And I'm not going to put it super tight because I don't want it to bother me at night. I'm just going to close it up like that. Same process, I'm about to go and do this all over my head. And it should take no longer than 30 minutes to be honest.
All right, guys, moving on to our top sections. I'm gonna start with this one first. Okay, so we have this piece. And I'm gonna use the next level up from purple. And just pray that this turns out good. <laughs> nah, I'm joking guys, but it should be fine. Um, I haven't done a flexi rod set um, like this in a while, at least not with like mousse or anything. But yeah, in my vlogs, I've been telling you guys how much I've been wanting to do more like natural hair sit down videos. And, and it doesn't even have to be like targeted toward natural hair completely. Just the topic of like styling hair and really getting down to the nitty gritty of at least how to keep yourself looking put together while on a budget. I really don't get my hair done unless um, it's for a trim or something like that. So that's what our videos are going to be about in the future and just helping people learn how to style their hair better Ooh. with the tips that I know. One side is done. We're about to speed through the other side. I really only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight on this side. I'll probably have a little bit more on this side, but it only makes sense. Okay, so let me go through and do it. One thing I do notice is that my hair, my scalp, y'all, gets so dry um, when I straighten my hair. And I mean, I feel like it only makes sense because, I mean, you're literally dehydrating your hair when you straighten it. So, the effects are showing. I see you. I see you. And every freaking, every five minutes, my camera overheats, if not two. That's the one thing I hate about Sony, like, come on. It's a little too much on that one. So hopefully, hopefully it still comes out good, because I definitely put a little too much after trying to get it back on the rod multiple times. Will I ever do scraw? Not scraw. Yeah, yeah, scraw curls. Y'all, I will never do scraw curls again. Like, I did scraw curls when my hair was, like, it wasn't short, but it was, like, it wasn't medium length either. So, yeah, I would never do scraw curls again just because it takes so long. And if you have, like, skinny scraws, yeah, you're going to be there forever. Don't even think that you leave it anytime soon. I believe that hairstyle took like six hours. But yeah, here is the finished um, set. Yeah, here's the finished set. We're gonna let it sit overnight, come back and take it out in the morning. Hi, everybody. Y'all see that? Kaden. I gotta hurry up though, cause I'm about to be late to work. Looks so cute. Okay. Girl, your girl is that girl. 
Your girl is that girl. Yes, sir. I just hope that all of them dry properly, which they should have. Amen. And it's a Sunday too, because I'm praising the Lord for this here. Praising the Lord. I can't remember what she said directly, but she basically was saying, be grateful how you look right now. You know? And you, as you should, you should be grateful how you look right now. Because we're not going to look like this forever. I ain't saying we're not going to look good, but we're going, you know, periods. Oh, okay, so this one is the one that I felt like got messed up because I put so much on it, but it looks good. Yes. Okay. Fresh look right out of the flexi rides. This is what we're looking like. So I don't wanna do too much. I put some what's the name on my hair. I'm about to just separate a couple. Honestly, I might just wait till I get back to really do all this. I might just put it on. on headband or something so that I can push it back because y'all I really gotta go yeah this is cute this is cute now we just gotta keep it because child let me go okay y'all I'm about to head out for brunch but I just wanted to come and show y'all the hair I know I look a little dramatic with my shades on right now, but the girl literally has to go. I just feel like I'm running all over the place. I'm going to show y'all the full look of the hair. This is the best I can do, y'all. To be honest, like, there was different pieces of my hair doing different things. So, I just went ahead and went for this flip over. Um, instead of trying to part it, like, it was just doing the most. But I feel like overall, the curls look really good. Even though some of them dropped from the humidity outside, I feel like it still looks good. And I didn't want to separate too much so that, like, I can at least preserve the look a little bit. And then I went ahead and bobby pinned the hair on this side. And yeah, the hair is bouncy. The curls look cute. I got a lot of compliments on it already. I'm going to try to take some pictures. The skin is not looking its best right now, but we're going to make the best of the look because I'm already dressed. Okay, period. I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing right quick. So here's the outfit. The top is from Forever 21. Skirt is from Target. Shoes are from Target. Bag is Coach. Shades are from Lord Bay. So yeah, that's what we're wearing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, flexi ride tutorial, and hopefully it helps you guys in the future. I would just say if you're gonna do a, fl a flexi ride set on old a uh, flat a uh, old uh, flat press, what am I saying? A uh, old silk press, then just make sure you have some like hold spray if you want to hold the curls for longer. Because I'm gonna tell y'all, if y'all live somewhere hot, it's not gonna last. Like, I don't know how long these curls are gonna last, but we're gonna make them look good what I do. Okay, so I'm about to head out. I'm a little bit late for brunch, so yeah, see y'all in the next video.